Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyS3Root.com So I've got um, another ROM review of AOKP uh, ROM here um, Built by XDA user um, Faryab, I think that's how you say it, I'm not sure but Anyway, he was also developer of F1 Galaxy Nexus ROM for Galaxy S2 um, So he got this ROM working, AOKP uh, Pretty much everything is working. Um, it's a really nice ROM. If you don't like Samsung, you want to get the best of, you know, the Google ICS and stuff. Um, you can try this ROM. Let me show you some of the things I've have in here customized. You can see in blue there. That's actually my um, my calendar there going off. What I'd have to do this week. Um, also, the uh, shows my temperature, which is the uh, weather uh, weather option on this ROM. So I'll always know what the weather is right now here and also this is really cool kind of like widget locker I've got eight targets here that I, I can uh, customize um, so I can go straight to my Gmail if I want to um, or whatever it makes life here easier and you can customize these up to eight um, so that's what I like about it I mean I've reviewed this a ton of a, a ton of um, many times I'm um, sorry I got too high on Android over the weekend and I can't remember where it's Anyway, um, it's a very good ROM, uh, very fast, should give you better performance, battery life, no uh, bloatware whatsoever from Samsung. Um, this is built from completely from scratch. Um, the only problem I was having with was camera, but I think that was just, uh, I'm just going to reboot it real quick. I'll be back. Here's the boot up animation. Um, it looks really cool. This is uh, actually a uh, build 39 AOKP off that. Um, so not everything's working, but most things are working. Um, things like fast uh, USB charge isn't working because Galaxy S3 doesn't support it. Um, it already charges pretty darn fast. Um, let's go back to camera here. Yeah, it works fine here. Um, camera's working fine. You're gonna lose your continuous uh, shooting mode, so but you can always get it back. Just download FX Camera app. I think there's a bunch of burst mode that. That is just a software hack. You can just install an app to do it for you. Um, and let's look at uh, camera. Um, the camera, you're just going to get a stock um, camera with the ICS options here. I wonder if it does uh, touch the focus while you're recording. Um, not sure. You know, you do lose that. So one of the drawbacks of having an AOKP or AOSP ROM is that you are going to lose some of the features um, such as manual focus, but if you don't use a camera often, uh, you might be okay on this ROM. And uh, other than that, it's a fully functional ROM. You should, um, it's a pretty good build for one of the first AOKPs out now. There's also Omega AOKP ROM, um, that should be pretty nice too, you can check that out too. Um, it's over at XEA, and uh, let me see. Other than that, it's it's really fast. Look at that. You see that? Look, look at how instant that is. That is instant. Um, let's just run a speed test real quick and uh, end this review here. Oh, I didn't even show you AOKP, but all right, let me show you. Um, so for the noobs who don't know how to use this ROM, here's what you do: go to ROM control. And you can mess with all of this, and I'll explain really quickly what these are. Um, bug mailer, you can disable that if you don't want uh, bugs mailed to the developer, and you don't want to waste the battery. 180 degree rotation, that's what it is. Um, you can do that. Recent window style, you can change it to web OS style if you like it, but I like the stock one better now. I'll show you the web OS. So now you get, um, if you hold it down, Ah, sorry, I gotta get out of here first. You hold it down. Uh oh. Okay, maybe that is broken. I'm not sure. Um, but not a huge deal. Let me switch it back to stock. Stock is fine. Um, you can turn off CRT off animation if you want to. Um, that's that. And uh, let me see. Custom carrier label. Um, so you'll notice when I turn my phone on, I have um, AT&T card in here. It'll say hi on Android. Hi on Android. Hold back to kill. You can kill apps. Um, this is one of the most useful features about 
OKP, I'm, I don't like this app. Just kill it right away. Go back to settings. Um, long press home action, you can change that. So there's a ton of millions of options that come with all AOKP ROMs, and most of it is functional. Lock screen options. This is where you can change the lock screen style um, to these things, or three, four, five, eight targets. The targets are the different programs you want to put on. So I have it at eight maximum, so I can put all of my Google, Google Plus, Twitter, Facebook, Gmail, everything there. Um, lock screen battery percentage. So I'll show you my battery percentage, 18% um, there. And also volume music controls. Let's say you're um, listening to, uh, where's the music? Oh, let me show you the music real quick here. Is there a music player on here? Oh, hold on, let me download it. So you can use Google Music off the Play Store. Um, just this one doesn't have it. So I have a bunch of uh, electric uh, EDC music in here um, that I downloaded. So let's try it. Let me see if I can skip scabs. No. But you have the option to stop it at the thing. So that's kind of cool. It does show up right there with the Google Music. Um, I think it's actually compatible with uh, Pandora and other stuff too. So that's good. Just real quick there. Um, calendar sources. You can have your calendar synced to um, the main screen. You can see all of my week weekly thing. It's up there, so it shows me. I don't have to go into my calendar. Of course, you can't do any of this on an iPhone. Don't buy an iPhone. It sucks. Um, you can do. You can't do any of this really. Um, so it's really cool. Time range. You can change the time range, so I know uh, for a whole week what my schedule is like. And also, you can enable multiple events, and also you can have it flip every second. Um, and also enable fast storage. This one actually isn't working. I think it's because it's not compatible um, when you turn it off. The fast torch is you can hold down the power. Ugh, it's working now. Okay, maybe it was just the first time it booted, it didn't work, but it works. Um, and uh, there's a couple other things you can mess with all of this. And also, it comes with its own CPU um, thingy here that you can adjust the maximum CPU, but uh, you'll need to install a uh, overclockable kernel. This one does not come with an overclock kernel. I think this one actually comes with uh, its own kernel. Um, so you can install like Franco kernel and overclock the crap out of it if you want to. Uh, let me see here. And uh, you can change themes. You can download any um, CM9 compatible or AOKP compatible themes off the market. And uh, when you install it, uh, it will show up here. I have one sample downloaded, smurfed out. Um, so let me switch themes. You can get hundreds of themes. So now my themes all little blue, blue um, smurfy thingy here. But I like the actually the stock better. So let me switch it back. So the theming is good. Um, the customization is good. And there's zero bloatware here. And also you can mess with the display here. Um, you don't have to do that. You, for uh, if you don't get 3G or 4G after installing this ROM, just uh, make sure you set new APN for your uh, network, and you can change the uh, scenario here if you don't like it. So that's the op that's the alternative to the Samsung's display change thingy. Um, settings here. Oh, I was going to show you the APN settings. So it should recognize um, automatically, but if it doesn't, go to wireless and networks, go to mobile networks, and uh, access point names, and enter your access point name for your carrier. Basically, let's say AT&T, go Google for uh, APN settings, ATT, and then you can just, you know, you can you can just add new APN and then enter all the information you need it. For AT&T, very simple. I just put WAP singular and set the name and set OK, and it just works right, just like that. Um, I think I've covered everything. So let's go ahead and run Quadrant, and uh, let's see how this bad boy does without all that Samsung bloatware. OK, it's not going to not gonna run at all. Oh my god, high on Android. All right, here we go. So it's a very, very good ROM. Um, if you don't like TouchWiz, 
you always have the option. The greatest thing about the Galaxy S3, there's a lot of development, developers. Um, there's going to be a ton more ROMs like this um, in the near future. So that's another reason I really like the Samsung Galaxy um, S3. Um, and also I'll have uh, more ROM reviews for One X. I haven't forgotten. Just you know, I I guess I just like this phone more. There's a lot more development. I think it's just um, it's a good phone. It's a good hacker phone. This is the hacker phone of the year. And also I did review the case. Uh, for those of you who don't know, these are very good cases. Cruiser Light. I'll have links below if you want these cases. I know there's going to be always somebody asking for that, so I'm just trying to cover all the bases. So I don't have to, um, I can spend more time making videos instead of answering questions. Anyway, 4351, and eh, not too bad. If I run it a couple times, it's going to be get around 5,000 or whatever. And also you can overclock it. Um, but um, apart from the benchmarks, you'll notice uh, very fast speed with the AOKP. And again, this is one of the earlier versions, so you might find some bugs. But still very usable as daily driver. Uh, very good ROM. Um, so check it out. Uh, I might stick with this for a little bit and how it see how it does for the next couple of days. And I'll have an update on this ROM also uh, when the new stable, stable, stable versions come out with everything just working flawlessly. Um, but still a very good ROM. It's everything's pretty much working. Um, it's like having you know resurrection ICS ROM on my uh, Galaxy S3. Anyway, um, thanks to you guys for watching my video. If you have a Galaxy S3, don't forget to uh, sign up for my email list at galaxyS3root.com. We update you with ROM of the week, um, stuff like this, and uh, it's a great way for you to get in contact with me via email if you um, mess up your phone somehow, but it's hard to do that on this phone. Um, and uh, if you're on YouTube, please hit that like button here, um, subscribe button up here if you have, thanks a lot, and uh, use that share button to share this with your friends on Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. Plus. Um, a really good ROM, try it out, let me know what you think, and uh, thanks you guys for supporting my channel, and as always, don't buy an iPhone, it sucks.